All right, here we go, day five of the hunting. Uh, it's, I find the deer again, it gets pretty exciting, but before we get into that, gotta give a shout out to the newest sponsor of the channel, Laird Superfood Coffee. Y'all know I'm in the military, and the military literally operates off coffee, and this is some of the best coffee I've ever had. I've been drinking it for the past three years, 100% organic, mushroom-based, vegan-friendly, just all that good stuff. Why a vegan coffee company would sponsor Hunter, I don't know, but the coffee's outstanding. I make an Insta Latte here in a couple seconds, so just bear with me. It is outstanding, and if you want to check it out, uh, the link is in the description. You will love it. Let's get into the video. Day five of my season, and uh, these 3.30 a.m. days suck, let me tell you, let me tell you. Just me, solo, it's the next day. In the last video, I'm gonna try to get this guy at three by three located and uh, killed today. So, wish me luck, and uh, see you guys on the spot. Good morning. I have relocated the 3x3 from yesterday. Thank goodness. Great news early. As you see, top right of your screen, there's another one moving. I think that's that uh, Forky and 2x2, two two, we'll call him. He's a little bit bigger than Forky, but good news. He's, <laughs> he's on the back side of where I started my approach yesterday. But uh, we're just going to wait and uh, see what they do. It's only. 623 it's not even sunrise yet these guys just live in here man gotta get them before rifle season i don't know how many people know about this spot besides me and brennan but yeah so it's a dime All right, so they're moving in a direction I don't like them moving to. <clears throat> but it's obviously crazy early, so hopefully they don't go into anything too crazy. I could watch them bed. There's our boy, center screen. Obviously the camera doesn't give the glass justice, but he is pretty. Right, he's uh, these deer are moving, <laughs> not running. They're just like feeding at a at an interestingly quick pace. So I honestly debated on dropping down and just getting in there now to avoid anything, but good thing I didn't, just because it's it's so hard to fight that urge sometimes. Um, like just to go, 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 but you know, you got thermals, the sun isn't even in this valley yet. They're up and moving, they're feeding. I have too much distance to cover and, uh, there's no elevation down there. So, ah, <sighs> chasing this dude for what, past two, three days now? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully today's the day. Let's, uh, let's see what we could do. I got all day and, um, I brought a book too. So those afternoon hours, if we get there, those afternoon hours won't be as blunt, but. Let's, uh, let's check out the deer again. So here are the two spikes, right? And they're feeding kind of into the mountainside. And then the buck is to your bottom left, walking. I'm not, I'm not loving where they're going, but obviously I can't control that. So I just got to stick on them. Every once in a while I'm glancing around too. The gang of turkey came out again. But I haven't seen all the other uh, does and little forks that there are a lot of deer in here and for whatever reason i just keep finding these ones which obviously i'm happy with but um yeah <clears throat> it's gonna make it difficult to find them i was 
super lucky yesterday that they just bedded in the open. But where they're going, it's uh, it's still pretty open, but it would just be hard to keep an eye on them the entire time. There's our boy. And I was staring at him. I'm 90% sure it's him. He looked a little different when I got a side profile, but overall, still the biggest buck I would have killed. All right, deer number four just showed up, and it's one of the deeper forks. Hashtag two by two. But I don't see the three by three yet. I think these trees are blocking them. But there's one forky, or two by two, whatever. We're just calling them two by two, because there's two forkies and there's two by two. He's, uh, they're pretty deep, pretty deep forks. Looks a little older, for sure. But they are just in the back. They're just, it's not the worst. I mean, I could approach from both sides. Just um, if they bed down behind a tree, I'm going to not, I'm going to need to stay focused. I can't lose focus at all. <sighs> That's hard to do. <laughs> so the group of four has turned into a group of five. And these bottom deer bottom deer. The deer at the bottom of your screen is hard. It's hard for the glare. It's really uh, the sun's just rising right next to the camera, but it's another 3x3 three three popped up. I think it was that 3x3 three three from the first day, or 2x3, whatever. It's like the tiny little split. These deer are just coming up out of nowhere. And then another one dipped up to the left. I got a little opening in the middle of your screen. He dipped up to the left, so I assume that's where they're all going. But I just need these dudes to chill because I'm about to lose them in this bush. That's going to require me to stay in the game focused. Oh man, my eyeballs are starting to burn. So these deer went, it's not it's not thick, it's just that I'm blocked from this angle. Damn, I'm gonna let fuck chap grass my lord chapstick. Anyway. <laughs> they uh it's not thick, I just don't have the angle to see them. And then the crazy thing is where Brendan was the other day, where Brendan was the other day, he would have been able to get a shot off probably because he was just perched up on this little rock set that's right above where they're walking, it looks like, and um uh, Man, but that side is so much harder to get into than this, than where I'm at. That's why I've been coming here so much. This easier glass, or easier to get to, and the glassing is outstanding. So, um, it's only, <laughs> it's not even 8 o'clock yet. And uh, I, I don't know where they're at. I assume the last time I think they fed till around like 8.30 or something. But um, good start to the morning. Just got to relocate, and hopefully, hopefully they pop out soon. All right, update. It's nine. Um, still nothing. It's crazy. I could I could spot a quail walking on the ground, but I can't find a deer like from this far away. I don't know how far I am. Three fourths of a mile to a mile. It's uh, yeah. I don't know. I I assume they're still in there. I've been going from spotting scope to binos and back and forth just to make sure I'm not missing anything because I want to keep my uh, view kind of wide in case they do. But right now I'm just digging into the shadows and uh based the way the sun's going, it's not it's not gonna be in my favor soon, but they they should be getting up. Um don't know how long I'll be here for before I wanna move to that side. I've been 
picking out glassing spots where I could look down and into it. So uh, time will tell, but nothing yet. That's the update. All right, I've decided to move. We're gonna go to um, the backside, see if we could glass in and turn these deer up. It's, uh, well, it is 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, so I mean, still plenty of time to move, but just the way the sun's moving and the way the way the shadows will work, I don't see them getting up. <clears throat> Let me try that again. The direction of the sun and how the shadows will form, I don't see them getting up. I think they're going to stay where they're at. And uh, yeah, it could just be the spot for the day. Lots of cover, lots of pockets they could stay on. They have food in there. So got to get over there and find a decent glassing spot where I could glass down and in. So uh, see you guys over there and hopefully we turn something up. Yeah, so kind of forgot to film a little bit, but to wrap it all up for you, sorry for the just dead drop in uh, filming, but to wrap it up, so I went around the little uh, field that I've seen the deer in for the past couple days consistently, and I try to get a different angle, and it, the, the, um, the angle itself to glass into was just horrible, honestly. So I got impatient, made the decision, and started walking around, and that's how I found those beds. It's the sagebrush is a lot taller than it looks once you're in it so they have endless places to hide in there and uh that's where they bed every single day and night i assume so they know where they're comfortable and know where they're not as you saw towards the end of the video i did find some beds underneath oak trees which is 100 percent shade 100 percent of the day so they can just live in there or stay in there until sunset when they have to come out and feed but sorry for the filming got kind of frustrated honestly and i dipped out probably right around one o'clock again that day so um, another unsuccessful day, but another day of finding the deer. I'm honing in on it, and the next uh, the next two or three videos we get pretty we get pretty close again. So stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying the series. Happy hunting, and I'll see you on the next video.